Hi, Florette here. Thanks for joining me today. And today we are going to assemble this really cute and magical card from the Toadstool SVG kit, 3D kit. And it's really easy to put together, but it's very impressive because it has this really great cutout and all these flowers and elements. And I even added some little stamps in here and I'm going to show you how I did all of this. And of course, there's always a PDF instructional file that comes with your kit as well that you can follow step by step. So let's get started. So here you can see I have all my pieces laid out and I'm going to start with this piece here which is this front overlay and on this one you can see I used a pattern paper and I actually used one of our digital papers printed it on a laser printer and then added foil to it ran it through the foiling machine to give it that really pretty gold touch and I did the same thing with a piece of paper like this using an embossing pen um, to adhere the foiling there's, I mean, a foiling pen to do that. All right, so the easiest way to put this oval on here is to just put a little glue on the outside edge of this piece here. So I'm going to run a little line of glue all the way around this edge because it's a thin piece, but it really adds a nice touch to your card. So I'm going to take this piece now, and I'm just going to lay it down right on that edge like so. And you can see it's a perfect fit. And you're just going to pat it down in place. Maybe use a piece of scrap paper behind it so that you don't get glue all over your desk. I've got like a crafting mat here that I use. Okay, so the next piece I'm going to do is add um, some of these cute little flowers and things to the side. So I'm going to figure out where I want to lay them. And I thought on the side here. And I added some different um, things, like little elements to it. Comes with the paper centers, but you can add um, little buttons or sequins, as I did here on this one. So first I'm going to lay everything out just to decide where I want to put it. You've got a lot of leaves. You can do it just as I do here. Or, you know, of course you can, you know, create a different look if you like. All right, so I think that looks really cute. So I'm going to take the flowers off and then glue my leaves in place just putting some little dabs of glues because some of them are going to hang off the edge so i'm just putting some on the stems and i'm going to do the same thing to this side i what i love about this card is you have so many elements you can create so many different looks with it it's really a lot of fun and then i'm going to take the side flowers and pop those into place just a little glue and it goes together nice and easily. And then I want to have my other flower overlapping those two. So I can even pop a little glue right there so I know I'm getting it on the edge and not on um, the whole back side. All right, so those flowers look cute there. I'm going to do the same with, I've already put the, I glued the little stems onto these little tulips. I'm again going to take maybe the other set of leaves and I'm going to want to have it coming across like this. So I'm actually just going to put some glue on this big leaf here and then on the stem like so. And add that right in here. And I think that looks really cute, doesn't it? And it's going to show through nicely to the other side of our card. Then I'm going to take my tulips and just arrange them in a little like that. That looks really cute. So I'm going to again glue my first flower down, just putting a little glue on the stem. Glue that right in place. And then glue my other ones down on top of it, overlapping each other because I think that looks, maybe I'll do a little angle. I didn't do an angle on the last one, but I think that looks really cute. That's what I mean. You can play with it and do different things, arrange them in different ways. Then you have this grass piece and that's going to go right over all of those and that's going to cover up your little stems and things like that. If you want this to overlap these leaves to come on top, just bend it up a little bit and add your glue and you're going to see it's going to fit right into these nooks here. I'm just going to add glue to the base area right here and pop it on. 
and depending on what kind of papers you use it's going to give it you know a little bit of a different look all right so there is the outside and the only thing i added to that was i added a tag using our fairy wishes stamp set and i put make a wish so i just cut a little banner to stick on the outside of this card the finished card all right so now we're going to go to we're going to set this aside and work on the inside of our card okay so we have a mushroom and we have a couple pieces here so i'm going to take the mushroom cap first and i'm going to glue that right on to our mushroom and what's nice is these it's just two pieces for the cap and the base so you're just gonna and your little polka dots are going to shine through and then I'll show you what I did to the other card and I'll show you how I did it so I'm just going to glue that on we have a little door and a window to put on I've already put the overlays on that and I'm just going to put a little glue on my door and pop it in the center and then put a little glue on the back side of my window and pop that on and that's so cute I love little toadstool mushrooms. So cute. Then I'm gonna then I'm gonna take the inside panel here. You got two pieces. And we are going to glue down this piece of grass first so it's in the back. And again, it fits right into all of the grooves that you see on the bottom of the card. So I'm gonna put the glue on the base of the grass like this and just pop it on right at the bottom edge so you can see it fits together just right and then I want my mushroom to show through so I'm just going to center that right in the center now you could pop that up if you want I'm going to glue mine straight down onto it my glue is getting a, got a little clog in it. I'll have to squeeze a little tighter here. So I'm going to pop that right on the bottom edge in the center. Then I have these other two little pieces of grass. And I am going to actually pop those up slightly with some foam tape. Let's see here. I got a couple pieces of foam tape I'm going to cut to size pop them on my grass and it's going to go on each side of the mushroom like so so that your grass kind of looks dimensional I think that gives it like a really cute look and for this I'm just going to cut my foam tape in half so I don't because I don't need that much I just need a little strip I'm going to pop it on my grass piece the base And pop that on here and we're almost done let's see I'm just gonna line that up and isn't that so cute Look how cute that is but that's not all we're gonna do now we can take this panel and this one is just gonna center right on the front of your card and you can see let me open that up so you can see it a little better it's gonna show a nice little edge so whatever paper you pick for this part of your card, for the back, is going to show through and make a nice little additional edge on the front of your card. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some glue right to this piece here that we put together. And again, you could pop this up with some pop dots or um, some foam tape just to give it a little more dimension. That would look really, really cute. But for the video, I'm just going to pop some glue on here so it's a little quicker but can you imagine if I would have popped that up it'll give that added dimension so you're just going to center it right in here so you get a nice even edge all the way around and just kind of pat it down and look at that it's coming together so nicely all right so now we have the inside and I want to dress it up a little bit so I grabbed some stamps from with the stamp set coordinating stamp set which is fairy wishes and it coordinates beautifully because it goes with toadstools what doesn't what goes with toadstools fairies right 
And that's where I got the Make-A-Wish. And so what I'm going to take is first I'm going to use this Happy Birthday. So I've already gone ahead and put it on a stamping block. And this one I'm going to do in black. Let's make sure it's the right way. I'm going to just stamp it on. Stamps go great with SVGs too. It's really fun. I'm just going to stamp it right on there. Straight down and up. Look at that. Adds a nice little touch. Then we have these great little... This stamp set comes with these great little dandelions, and they're perfect for this Fairy Wishes um, card. So I'm going to first start with, I've got some white ink, because I want to do these in white. I'm going to put a little stem down, maybe right here. Let's see, let's have it right here. And then I can take the little dandelion, and I lost my dandelion. Oh, here it is. My little dandelion popped off of there. I can take my little dandelion and pop it on the card. And I think that looks so cute. And then we've got these other pieces that are like little floaty dandelions, like they're blowing in the wind. So there's like one that's got three little dandelion seeds and then one. So I'm going to take those and just kind of pop them around the card like so. I think that looks so it just adds that extra little touch to your card I'm gonna take the single one and pop that on here maybe I'll pop another one over here and now we've got this extra design on the inside so if you have it for a birthday or if it's for congratulations whatever the occasion um, you can you know stamp on the inside and make your card so then the last step is you're just going to put your panel on the inside of your card like so. Just put a little glue down all the way around. You could use your ATG gun for this as well. I've got glue handy, so we're going to go with glue. And I'm going to pop that right in the center, like so. My ink could be a little wet, so I'm trying to avoid smooshing my ink. And then what I did was I added a little, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but I added some sp additional sparkle to the white and how I did that was I just took like a wink of Stella or you can use a Spectrum Noir glitter pen and you can take it and go right inside if you don't have you know you could use glitter paper if you want but you could also just take it and paint the inside of your look I got a little on there that's okay it adds a little extra and then I just went around and added a little sparkle wherever I wanted a little additional sparkle and that's how we put this, that's how we created this card here. Isn't that fun? Well, thanks for joining. I hope this made it really easy for you, and I hope you'll create one. And if you do, please share it on our Facebook page. I'd love to see um, your vision of this and your creation. Thanks again, and have a great day, and happy crafting. Bye-bye, everyone.